welcome back and if you're new welcome my name is Nikki I hope that you will consider subscribing because today I'm looking at a huge pile of clothes we are starting well I am starting a new challenge and I'm pretty nervous so in the next two weeks I want to purchase and list 500 new items on my Poshmark store. I'm very nervous about this because number one, I am a part-time reseller if you're new around here. I do have a nine to five corporate job that I work Monday through Friday. So if you didn't know that, that's one of the reasons I'm nervous. Second reason I'm nervous is I also have a million part-time jobs. <laughs> I also work in real estate, which I've told you guys, I think probably more so on the vlog channel. If you didn't know, I also have a vlog channel and a beauty channel. I feel like most of you have probably come from one of those channels. But if you haven't, if you're just brand new to me and you found me on this channel, let me know in the comments down below. For some reason, I just assume you all came from my beauty channel, but maybe you didn't. So yeah, if you didn't know, I have a beauty channel and a vlog channel, and I do real estate also. I do YouTube part-time. I have three channels, so I'm pretty nervous, friends. Honestly, reselling on like the rank of things, number one is my corporate job. That's what pays my bills. That's what gets most of my attention. That's number one, like to eat and travel and all that. I need that job. I would say number two after that competing right now is reselling and real estate. And then honestly, YouTube has been falling to like number three. So I want to be able to maintain everything, but I don't want to die. So fourth quarter's coming up. It's one of the best times of the year to sell anything, especially if you sell things online. So I really want to ramp up my Poshmark because my eBay has been going and taking off and been doing great. But Poshmark, I don't know. It's, it's up and down, up and down. So I want to get a bunch of inventory up there quickly. The other reason I'm really nervous is because in the next two weeks, I'm traveling. So you're going to see this video. What is today? I'm going to start the challenge on the day you see this video. I think you're going to see this video October. Let me go find out the date, actually. I don't know what today is. Hang on. Okay, so the date today is October 17th. You will be seeing this October 18th. So we'll start the challenge on October 18th. So two weeks exactly after October 18th is what? That is... So November 1st would be the two week mark. This weekend, so October 18th, the day you're seeing this, I leave for New York, I'm going to a wedding. So this weekend, I won't be able to, I'll be able to list, but I won't be able to really buy anything. And then the following weekend, the weekend of October 24th, I'm going out of town to Colorado, and Utah, and New Mexico, and Nebraska. So we'll see how this is gonna go. The goal is two weeks. I got this idea actually from Nicole State. I will leave her channel down below. I love her, I learned so much from her. She is actually a full-time reseller and she set the challenge for herself to do a thousand listings in two weeks and I think she ended up finishing it in a month. And it was very interesting to see because she does it full-time, she doesn't have a lister and she did a great job. If you wanna see her results, I'll leave a link to it down below. Oh, I should mention, I do have two employees, I say air quotes because they don't work that often for me, or maybe. So I have a lister, she lives in Turkey. If you wanna see a video on like what I pay her, how I found her, I'm happy to do that for you. She works about 10 to 15 hours for me. I could not do this as efficiently as possible if I did not have someone helping me list. I told you guys how many jobs I have, I need help listing. I list a bunch myself, she helps out, and my mom does, she is an inventory guru. She does all my inventory for me. So what do I mean by that? So I go out and buy the clothing. I steam it, I wash it, I measure it, I photograph it. But then once I do that, I give it to my mom. She assigns the inventory numbers, she puts it in the bin, she assigns bin numbers. So that really helps me a lot. Basically, once I'm done photographing it, I give it to my mom and she does all her stuff and puts it in storage. So I do have two people helping me, which helps a lot. So that should help speed up the process, but even still 500 listings in two weeks is a lot for someone that has other jobs. So today we have 28 items. So my goal is as you watch these videos to have these things already listed. So then the next time I come back for a haul, if any of this stuff has sold, I will let you know if it sold, how much it sold for, or at least I'll give you the totals. That's the way Nicole did it and I really liked it. Now Nicole has a much larger following than me. So I feel like, so today I'm showing you 28 items. 
maybe by the next time you see me none of these items will have sold and I'm just gonna keep it real and tell you so for those of you that are newer to Poshmark you can know what to expect I just started selling on Poshmark in March and we're now in October so I've only been on Poshmark for seven months so I feel like this is great for you newbies to see how quickly things move or how quickly they don't move. I'm currently at 5,100 followers on Poshmark, so maybe next time you see me, I'll be like, you know what, those 28 items I showed you, nothing sold, or maybe everything sold, fingers crossed. So this stuff is all from Dollar Day. Half of it I got, half of it my mom got. That's another thing. I go thrift shopping, I'm sorry this is a long intro. I've been talking for three minutes, but I feel like it's important since we're starting the challenge. I go thrift shopping about two to three times a week, and I would say maybe twice a month my mom will come with me. She's starting to learn like what brands sell, what brands don't sell. I'm teaching her what to look out for. So on this dollar day, my mom actually came with me. So some of this stuff is hers, and we have like a little commission that I give her if her stuff sells. So I've been talking a lot. I'll tell you which stuff is hers. Let's start with the stuff I got. I got this water bottle on Amazon. I'll link it down below. It's great for when I work out because it doesn't spill. See, it's perfect. Let's see if any boys text me. No, I am currently boy crazy. More on that on the vlog channel. Okay, so first up we have this silk cashmere blend sweater. Oh my God, it's so soft. It's from the brand Mage. Mat Mage. I always say that brand wrong. It's M-A-G-E. Mage mage whatever i love it it's so soft i wanted to keep it it's a size one and it's open back that's the only reason i don't keep it is i have d cup breasts and i don't usually wear things that are backless i guess you could wear a shirt um under it but yeah i just feel like maybe some perky boobed woman would love to wear this like backless around christmas time <laughs> i'm a mess i on the contrary do not have perky boobs and always need a bra the joys of having huge boobs, I guess. Um, anyways, sorry for any men watching. These are Lucky Brand Cropped Boot Cut, and the, the name is Classic Rider Crop. Jeans have been flying for me, so I wanted to re-up on my jeans. Even though they're cropped, somebody will wear them. I'm so sorry. I hate to do that on camera. I was just telling them on the beauty channel. If you're into beauty, I just filmed my Ipsy Ultimate unboxing. I film in my dining room. Hello, welcome to my dining room. So I put down this like fuzzy fleece blanket to protect the dining room table. But I think I should stop doing that because it's so fuzzy when you start touching it, the fuzz literally goes straight in my nose. That thing makes me laugh. So I picked up those. Also picked up these page denim jeans and these are the skyline drive jeans what size are these size 27 page and lucky brands seem to sell pretty well for me just a dark denim boot cut jean i thought they were cute page does well some more lucky brand remember all of these are a dollar i don't usually pick up this much lucky brand but it was a dollar these are the lola boot cut jeans some more boot cuts really cute Feel nice. I might actually keep a pair of those. Um, let's see. I only picked this up because it's new with tags. I've never heard of this brand. I Woolen. I'm wondering if it's like a brand that sells on Amazon and it's a size large and it just felt like this would be cute and it ties at the front. Somebody would like wearing that and it's lightweight. This is from the brand Wave. I forgot where this is sold and it stands for where are you from? How cute is this? You could wear it as a shirt or a dress. It's a size extra small. I'm pretty sure this is a dress. It's my favorite color and I just love the vibrancy. The camera is actually doing it justice. Like that's how vibrant and colorful it is. And it's very lightweight. It might be the wrong season, but I don't care. Somebody will buy that. This is so cute. When I saw this, I was like, that just looks like nice quality. So this is from the collaboration with Philip Lim. Is it Lim or Lin? You guys are gonna kick my butt. So it's the Philip Lim, I think, Lim, Lim, Target collection, floral peplum top, and it has a zip, it zips all the way up. It's really cute, it just feels like really good quality. I love it, I was tempted to keep that, but I can't keep everything. I just picked this up because I felt like somebody would like it, and it was a dollar. So this is the Avengers Infinity War Marvel t-shirt. 
and I think I gravitated towards it because again, I love purple. That's when I first saw purple's my favorite color. And I was like, what is that? And then when I saw it's Avengers, I was like, eh, somebody will want that. So I'll probably list that for like, I don't know, 10 to 15. Brand new with tags. This stood out to me because one, the color is really nice. It's brand new with tags. It's Nike dry fit. Retails for $35. So it's a Nike tee and it's the Ohio State Buckeyes, which always makes me think of my dad because he is from Cleveland. Fun fact, my dad is from Cleveland and my mom is from Pittsburgh and they would always argue about like football because my mom of course is Steelers and my dad of course is Cleveland Indians. I probably wouldn't have picked this up if it wasn't a dollar, but if you didn't know, camel is one of the colors of the season this year. Um, and this is a Lulu's dress. You guys know Lulu's, it's an online retailer. Do they have stores? They might actually have stores now. Um, like brand new, this dress might be like 25, 30 bucks. Maybe I'll get 10 to 20 for it, probably 10 to 15. But I would wear it and it's a size large and it's the color of the season, so that's why I picked it up. Two more items that I found. My mom found some really good stuff. This is another collaboration with Target. This is the, oh God, Altuzara, Altuzara Target collection. I don't even know if you guys will be able to see that. But look at how cute this is. Again, something I almost kept, a black sheer top with white, um, what do you call this? Like a white tie that you can tie around or you can just leave it out. And then a MM Couture by Miss Me um, tube top dress. Well, it has kind of like the sweetheart neckline and really cute, it has a stretchy back. It's black, it's a size medium. I thought somebody would like this. I wish I could wear things like this, but I need a little bit more support, but yeah, pick that up. All right, I'm not sure where I left off because my camera battery died, but I just finished my stuff. So now we're gonna move on to the stuff my mom found. So she found this really cute tube top from Intimately Free People. I'm pretty sure it's a tube top. I mean, no one could wear this as a skirt. Again, wrong season, but it's cute. It'll sell eventually, and it's warm in the world somewhere, right? She also found this women's size small. Really, oh, I love how my camera is actually showing things like true to color. This is a Tommy Bahama. I was gonna say it's a polo, but it doesn't button up. It's not a polo, just a t-shirt. It's very soft, feels nice. It's not faded or anything. When I saw this, I was like, ooh, what kind of, like high-end brand is this? I don't know if the detail's gonna come up, but the lace detail on this is beautiful. It's actually H&M, and it's a size extra small, which I would try to squeeze into this, because I think it's really cute, but I, I don't normally pick up H&M unless it's something unique like this, and I was teaching my mom this, unless it's something unique or if it's new with tags, then that's the only time I was telling her to really pick up H&M. Told her to get this one just cause I liked how it's kind of like, I don't even know what you call this detail at the bottom. Like just raw, I don't know. But this is a splendid cotton top size small and it's very soft and stretchy. And I feel like this could bring in a solid 10 to 15 bucks. Also picked this up, Banana Republic. Banana Republic, same thing. I only pick it up if I think that the detail is really nice or it's brand new with tags or if it's their more premium line. I just found their more premium line. What was it? I think they actually called it like premium something. Um, yeah, it was a white shirt with sequins. I showed it to you in a recent haul, but I just thought this was cute. Well, my mom picked it up and I was like, that is a go. So the way we do things right now is she'll pick up stuff and then we'll go to like the corner of the store and we'll go through it. I'll tell her, you know, this brand is good or this is a brand you should be on the lookout for or don't look out for this brand. This dress, this brand is called McGinn. 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 So it's M-C-G-I-N-N. -N. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see. It's a really cute work dress and I like the, um, the cutout. Not the cutouts. I'm the worst at describing clothing. That's something I need to study. But this is what the tag looks like. I don't know if you'll be able to see it because the writing is in cursive and it's in gold. Um, and I looked up comps on this and comps look pretty good for this. It feels really nice, nicely made too. And I like the material. It feels like it would be really nice to wear in winter. 
Express. We picked this up. It's missing the belt, but I just thought it was really cute. It's a polka dot dress size zero. This does not look like a size zero. It's missing the belt, but it's knee length. I felt like somebody would like that. This is definitely the wrong season, but this is Lily Pulitzer, Pulitzer size four. This is a floral tube top dress. How? pretty and as bright as it's coming up on camera is how bright it is it's so pretty and it's a size four i don't usually wear florals but size four is my size this thing makes the weirdest noise when you drink from it sounds like you're like slurping a slurpee but i was thinking about keeping that this is kimchi blue i always forget where this brand is sold is it anthropology people always list it as sold in anthrop anthropology i'm not sure Really cute, lightweight, floral crop top. Pick that up. Also got this Ann Taylor Loft. This is petite and the size is XSP. Really cute, just striped, basic dress, very soft. I thought that would be nice. This is really cute. I've never heard of this brand. New with tags. This is Lavish Alice. And look at the detail, friends. This is a size 8 blue dress and I just love the detail on the dress. It is gorgeous. If that was my size, I would keep that. Really pretty. I would keep everything. Another dress. This is Soprano. I think this brand is sold at Macy's. Uh, white and black striped dress. Brand new with tags. It says that this retails for $46. Size small. Mom was on fire. She got way more stuff than I did. This is Club Monaco. I think that store is still open, right? How cute is this? Size four. I can't figure out if this is a tunic or a dress because I'm a size four. So um, I guess if you want to be a little frisky, you could wear it as a dress. And I love the ruffle detail, but it's, it's going to be a pretty like booby dress. I think if you want to pull it up, it's going to be booby and it's going to be really short. But hey, maybe that's the vibe you're going for. This is not a brand I know, Sequin, Sequin Hearts, but I just thought this was a really cute dress. It's very tiny. This is a size small. In my opinion, it literally looks like a size extra small. Look at it. It's fitting in the frame. Um, but again, a really cute party dress that I think is perfect for holiday season. We picked up this J. Crew dress. Now this is the J. Crew blue label. Does that mean it's more high end? This is 100% wool. I'll have to look it up. And I picked it up because this color is pretty. It's in great shape. It's a size six, very long. I feel like someone would look lovely in this to wear to work. And then lastly, we picked up this DKNY tube top dress. So a lot of this stuff is not in season, but it's warm somewhere in the world, and some people are looking for this stuff. Blue and white striped tube top, tube top dress. So, October 18th, we're starting with 28 items. I'm going to write that down. So the next time I see you, I will let you know if any of that stuff has sold. If none of it has sold, I will let you know, and I will be at, back to you with another haul. I'll give you updates. 500 items in two weeks. Let's see if we can do it. Even if it takes me longer, I'm not going to quit. I'm just going to keep going. So we will see how long this takes. The original goal, though, is two weeks. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you soon.